the devil got in the serpent, wiggle up to her. Won't he do it to you? Look at her out there. She thinks she's cute. She thinks she's so cute. She thinks she's better than anybody. Won't he talk? See, the battle starts in the mind. He'll put those thoughts in. You see, you can't stop the thoughts from coming, but you can cast them out. Yeah. The Bible says that if you resist the devil, yeah, yeah, yeah. he'll flee from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, I thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he began to talk to Eve. Eve's first mistake is that she listened to him. She That's sat right. there. She should have just walked away and said, God told me not to tell him. No, mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> but our mistake is we sit down, we get comfortable. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I want to hear what he has to say. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you don't need to know what they That's have to right. say. Amen. You don't need to listen to garbage. That's right. See, garbage contaminates. Yes, it yes. corrupts. Yes, it does. My God, my God. Yes, it does. So she began to listen yes, to the serpent. Mm -hmm. And you say, she, he said, you know why God don't want you, and I'm paraphrasing, you know why God doesn't want you to take from that tree of knowledge? Because if you bite of that fruit, a lot of people think it was an apple, but it was spiritual. It's just like that Pandora box. You ever see it? You, you open up the Pandora box and oh my God, what is released out of there? Mm. Mm. You see, in that tree of knowledge, evil, things that led to disobedience was in that tree of knowledge. They didn't need to know all that stuff. That's right. They had everything they needed. But no, Satan said, if you Take the fruit from that tree, you're going to become like a God. Mm -hmm. You'll be just like God, and that's what God doesn't want. You'll become just as smart as smarter than him. Yes. And the woman listens so much. That's why they call the woman the weaker vessel. <laughs> the woman took the apple, or she took of that fruit, and she let it enter in her soul. And then Adam came and said, oh my God, what have you done? Well, he, she said, the serpent told me if I take up this fruit, that we'll become like God. Instead of the man correcting her. That's right. That's right. Amen. <laughs> he went and took up the fruit. Mm. Yes. My God, my God. <laughs> my God, my God. And that's why women, yeah, we're powerful. Very. Oh, men gotta watch women. They can be deceitful. They're something else. Yes. They are right. something else. They have to be careful. Because he did that. Yeah. Yeah. And then they were running around, and all of a sudden they knew they were naked. <laughs> they were in the garden all that time. That beautiful land. Paradise. <laughs> running around. There was no problem. Because they were in innocence. There was no sin in there. Yes. But once they took of that tree of knowledge, took that fruit, took that and let it enter into them. Mm -hmm. My God, my God. Then they knew they were in the, and they were ashamed. Mm -hmm. And they covered themselves. Yeah. And God had to wait until the cool of the day. Yes. Oh, we yeah. can't upset God. But don't upset him, but we can't upset him. Mm -hmm. And he began to call Adam. Okay. And they were afraid. He wanted to know why they were hiding. Mm -hmm. And then when they why are you covered? Because right. we're not. We're naked. How did you know you were naked? All right. You see, when we start doing stuff that we don't need to do, mm -hmm. mm. the Bible told the parents to raise them up in the way that they should go. Well, and when they get older, mm -hmm. they won't depart from it. All right. And you children, when we, when we were young, our parents taught us certain things for a reason. To try to protect us. To keep us out of harm's way. You see, one thing about parents, they've been there, they've done that, and they know. So they want to avoid their children from making those mistakes. So that we impute wisdom into them. Or we try and knowledge. And there's some children that will listen, and then there's some just hard-headed. They just will not listen. They got to go out and learn the hard way. My God, my God. But if you didn't raise your children up in the Lord, you know they're coming back. Because right. you planted the seed. I mean, if you did what God told you to do, right. if you put the word in them, and they went astray, because 
they're going to be with the word everywhere they go. They can't sin like the regular unbelievers out there because they know God. Right, Kevin? Right, Kevin? Because they know God. Is your mama right? The word, they bump into the word everywhere they go. No, they get in trouble quickly because they know better. The Bible said, woe unto you if you know the way and refuse to walk therein. Yes. My God. My God. So time came in the picture. Time. Because of that great sin of Adam and Eve. And the curse of woman is to bear children. And it's like going through death. When we're giving birth, I had five children. I had them all natural. Oh, Lord. <laughs> After the fifth one, I said, no, Lord, I can't, I can't. After four, I was done. I said, okay, I've done my deed. Thank you, Jesus. I'm all set. And then that fifth one came. I'm like five years later. And um, my late aunt, the matriarch, she said, there's three women pregnant in the church. You know those older women, they look in your eyes. Oh, yeah, you pregnant. You pregnant. And she looked at me and said, you, I said, uh-uh. I'm like, uh-uh. No, I'm not. No, I'm good. Oh, my God. Then I found that, yeah. I'm like, oh, come on. But God always send the last one for a reason. That's that football player you're talking about. God always send the last one for a reason. Hallelujah. Bless it. Bless it. My God, my God. But God tells us to raise our kids for a reason and put boundaries. You see, if we don't have boundaries, we'll do everything we're big and bad enough to do. You have to have discipline. Mm -hmm. discipline. You got to set guidelines. Mm -hmm. If we don't have, if we did not have police, and if you go into Romans, the 13th chapter, the first verse, it said, let every soul be subject unto a higher power. The powers that be are ordained by God. Believe it or not, from that Old Testament, government was set up to keep order. All right. We need police officers. All right. We need a president. Yes. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, Donald Trump, yes, God put him in there. <laughs> God allowed him. <laughs> so I have to shut up and pray for Donald Trump. Yes. I be sure that, but I have to be quiet and pray for Donald yes. Trump. Yes. And God teach him the right thing. Yes. Do right by your people. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh God, I can give them knowledge and understanding. Yes. Yes. Oh God, to do the right things. Yes. Lord God. Lord. You yes. see, we got to pray for the president. We got to pray Lord. for government Lord. officials Lord. that they do the right thing. Because yes. they were put there for good. They were put there for good to keep order. Because if you didn't have police officers, if you didn't have laws, it would be so corrupt. People be doing any and everything, so you have to have order. That's right. You see, God is a God of order. That's right. So that's why he set up these ordinances. That's why churches have to have pastors. They have to have leaders. They teach the people how to live holy. And the shepherd has to bring on correction, right, Bishop? you got to correct sometimes. You can't always be, oh, honey, it's all right. Honey, it's all right. It's going to be okay. <laughs> Sometimes he got to say, Satan, I see him. And not you, Satan, but the spirit in you. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Hold your peace. Hold your peace. My God, my God. Hold your peace. I recognize that spirit. Because God is not a God that's out of order. No, you can't do this in this church. No. You got to have order in the church. So leaders, God called, past pastors are called. I know a lot of went. But God sent. I know they go to seminary school, they go to theology school, they see Joel Osteen, they see Bishop T.D. Jakes, uh, they see Joyce Myers, uh, and they see the money and the glory. But do you know what Joyce Meyer, Bishop T.D. Jakes, Joel Osteen had to go through to get where they are. That's right. Come on now. They didn't start off like that. They had to go through boot camp. All right. All right. They went through stuff. All right. And not everybody can be a pastor. 